Hi, I've repaired something for you on your body and pressure when you're diving. But as soon as you start diving into water and you have water above you, that water adds pressure and the water is heavier. That's why you have a different pressure on whenever you are diving. You have some soft spaces in your body. This actually means that your lungs will be compressed. There's nothing harmful in that as long as it's slow and it's, you're trained for it. Uh, but as a free diver, when you're going deep, they are really getting compressed. I'm getting into that later. But as a scuba diver, it also happens, but not that much because you're breathing. So these are the soft spaces. Also in your body, you have, uh, for instance, the joints in, uh, in, in, in your elbow and different places in your body. But there are pressure working on your entire body. And then there are some cavities or compartments in your body, like the sinus up here. You have different sinus and, uh, on, on, in, in your head. And they are not compressed. So they are like a steel container, like a scuba cylinder. You know, a scuba cylinder is not changing size when you're diving. It's like, that's the fixed size. But when a heart compartment like this is connected to a soft compartment, like you have the sinuses here, it's connected to your lungs. And uh, then suddenly that's one system and you have the pressure from the outside. And the connection between those two are actually your eardrums. So that's why when you start diving, suddenly you can feel something is going on with your ears. So you need to equalize the pressure and you do it by pinching your nose. And add just a slight pressure. Don't overdo it because these eardrums are very fragile. It's like the, the, the outer surface of a balloon and it can easily erupt. You. And if that happens, um, yeah, you cannot dive for, for several weeks. The thing that happens when you are diving is that when you're at the surface, you have this air above you. That's one bar. And whenever you go deeper, like 10 meters down, you add one bar of pressure, and that's due to the weight of the water uh, above you. And the pressure is coming from all sides. It's not like it's only on your head. It, the, the pressure is coming from all sides. And you can also see this pressure means that soft spaces, imagine if you have a balloon, you're diving with a balloon, it will actually be smaller when you're going in depth. So if you are at 20 meters, you have one bar of pressure from the surface. For every 10 meters, you have one bar, one bar more. It means at 20 meters, you actually have three bars. You can see it here, uh, three bars at 20 meters. And this means that the volume would be like a third. So this is what actually happens if you are diving with a balloon in your hand or if you are a free diver. Because as a free diver, you are not adding extra air to your lungs. So when you're diving, the, your lung will be compressed, your kidneys as well. Everything soft uh, will be compressed. When you are at 20 meters, when we are talking about the basic diving, so we are stopping at 18 meters actually, but if, to make it easy, we are talking about 20 meters now. If you see here at 20 meters, the volume is like a third. This actually means that your lungs will go from normal size to being a third, but they just expand as you go up again. It's, uh, it's in that way, it's natural. and. If it of course means that you must prepare for it and you must do some stretching or dancing and long movements. So it's about the lungs and the connections to, to, to the lungs and muscles and everything. So when they compress that they actually can follow because it's a, they really need, you need to be very agile on the inside actually to do this kind of diving. It's different with scuba divers because as a scuba diver, you're adding air to our lungs, keeping them almost the normal size all the way down. But there's a backside to that as well. So if we are at 
20 or 30 meters and and our lungs have the natural si uh, size. If you decide to go to the surface, holding your breath, the air in your lungs will expand. And if you're going from 20 meters to the surface, holding your breath, it means that you have one bar on the surface, 10, 20 meters. It's a factor three that your lung will expand with. Air will expand. I mean, it, 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 it will happen. And there's no room for it. The only way it can expand is by bursting uh, areas in your lungs. So scuba divers always breathe. Just to catch up, when you're standing on the beach, the air above you is one bar. When you start diving, every 10 meters are one bar. So if you're diving to, to uh, 20 meters, you have uh, three bars and the volume in the soft spaces will be like a third. So going from one to a third, that's quite a lot. So be careful about that. 